look at you, boy. Look at old head and when I got his own little snow here. Man, I tell you, I got my little t-shirts like everybody else. I ain't wanna get no be monetized by YouTube. Cause YouTube too shy, so they take your money and ban your channel, all that kind of stuff like that. But I figured, man, I'm gonna sell me stuff, man. Maybe somebody buy me a cigar too. So some of these little cigars I do in the cigar spots. Be like, I say, I'm sell my own t-shirt. So y'all get a chance, y'all go here to Zaz over here, and y'all check out old head collection of, of my t-shirts, and y'all get y'all a few, you know, for your wives and for your kids too. You know, kids can wear it too. Cause kids need to learn how to smoke cigars when they're young. Okay, I'm not promoting no cigars, okay? But go get one of my t-shirts. Ooh, doggy man, what y'all say? What y'all say? It's a beautiful morning down here in Florida, man. I'm gonna tell y'all. Boy, I got up early this morning, and first thing I did was, uh, y'all know I checked that Colorado score. I ain't watched that shit last night. I don't watch no football. I don't watch no Pee Wee football. <laughs> I don't watch that shit. I can catch it on YouTube. I catch the, I can catch the nine minute clips on YouTube, man. So I, so I did a quick little video this morning, just messing around. But uh, I got up this morning, man. When I got to doing that little foolishness, man. I jumped in a little black, put the top down a little black, took our Sunday drive, went over there to Wawa, got me one of them old coffee drinks, and we took a little drive this morning, man, I ain't drove them so long, man, now I came back over here to the house, man, now I put a little black back up, now I'm about to wash up the truck, clean up the golf cart, smoke me a good cigar, but before I do that, I went back and looked at this photo here of the offensive line here at there in Colorado. I'm looking at these boys. Now look, now I ain't no psychologist and I'm not like that good, oh, that little girl named Clarice. <laughs> like that little girl named Clarice. What the, what the movie she was on? Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> if I was Clarice, Clarice, I would take this picture here and go visit Hannibal Lecter in prison and tell me, dear Hannibal, Hannibal, can you break down the body language of this old line here? Because something just ain't right. Also break down uh, uh, Travis Hunter look expression here. Yeah, I'm looking at these little boys. I'm saying, you know, these boys, <laughs> these boys lined up behind Shadur like they're at a Bangkok, a, ba a Bangkok whorehouse ready to get chose. <laughs> You know, it kind of reminded me when I was in, uh, I went to Houston one time. Well, I think it was like 90, I want to say 94, <laughs> my kinfolk, <laughs> my kinfolk black cat. I went to visit him in Houston, Texas, right? And when I got off the airplane, right, he took me to this side of town and all the signs on the side of town was like in a different language. Now, I ain't know nothing about no <laughs> sideways people language, like <laughs> Korean language and, and, and uh, Japanese language. I ain't know nothing about them down. I just know them, them, them signs, there, there, there wasn't no ABCs <laughs> letters on them doggone signs, right? So I kind of figure I was kind of like, what part of town it is? And he said, this Korean town here <laughs> in Houston. I was like, okay. So I'm trying to figure out where we going, right? So we get to this place and it's like a house. Now you, you, you Negroes in Houston, back in the 90s, I know y'all know what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, okay? <laughs> it was a Korean town, it looked like a house. I want to say it was great, right? And he went up to the, he went up to the place and they had like a little screen door on it, right? And he knocked on it and the little lady came in. I, I was still here at a Mercedes Benz at the time now. <laughs> I'm quite sure Willie D know what, what this place at, right? Because him, him and my kid folk were really cool, okay? <laughs> and told down, okay, maybe I'm, too, I'm doing too much name, name dropping right now, right? They know what this place was, right? So <laughs> he called me, he, he signaled to me to get, to get out the Mercedes and, and we go into the house, right? And he said, kid folk, sit right there, kid folk. So I sat down there, and then I looked up, and the little lady started bringing me all these gals out, right? I'm like, what the shit is this? I seen shit like this on TV. I ain't never seen nothing like this. They brought all them little girls out, just, and they were standing up, just like Colorado O-Line. <laughs> them little gals, them little gals in that Bangkok whole house in Houston, and that Korean whole house, they was lined up just like Colorado O-Line. It didn't dawn on me until I, 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 I was riding, I was riding, had the top down in Little Black. I'm going through the horse country. We got the the, the, the back road with the canopy, with the tree canopies, nice and cool. I'm listening to some Najee and some jazz, and it dawned on me. I said, God dang it, 
them Colorado Buffalo's offensive line look just like them little gals that was in that Korean whorehouse in Houston in our winter. They look just like them, right? Look, look at look at the Bible. Look at George C. George C. Hands crossed. Now hands crossed means that you protect it, right? You guard it for something, right? You're not fully confident about something, right? When you hand guard. Look at George C. Look at look at that Shadur. He looked at Shadur like he ain't too sure about Shadur, right? It's like he protected himself against something. That's a guarded position. Look at the little fella next to George C. Look at he looking down and, 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 uh, and should do him. That means he's a yes man. He's a follower, right? He ain't too sure, but he gonna follow. He gonna follow. Look at Tyler Brown. Look at Tyler Brown looking at Shadua, right? He's another yes man. He's another follower, okay? Look at the little white boy there. The little white boy looking like, shit, what the fuck I'm up here for? Man, I don't want to be here. I want to be playing Twitch. <laughs> and look at the other little fella next to the white boy, right? Look at the, his eyes are facing down like, shit, man. Man, this is some bullshit, man. I don't need to be here, man. Shit, man. Fuck this. And look at number fifty, number fifty-four. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for it. And then look at, look at y'all. Oh, hold on. Huh? Travis sitting there like, man, this is some bullshit, man. We only, we only be CSU. <laughs> Travis sitting there like, we only be CSU. Shit, man, fuck this. I, I want to get back to my onesie. I want to get back to Boulder. I get to my onesie, my little gal. I want to do, do my treatment, and I want to go play the next game. We ain't did shit tonight. Travis the only one who got a realistic view of what the fuck going on. Travis like, man, I want, I just, we, man, this is some bullshit. I don't even want to be sitting here. We, we be CSU. And then, and Shadur sitting there with all them goddamn manure showing like he just did something. <laughs> like he just did something. Oh, hey, Shadur, when you beat a real power fire team, when you get to the Pac-12 and y'all beat a team that y'all ain't supposed to beat, then you can set your hands up there and laugh like that, right? Ain't nobody sitting there with their teeth showing but your door. Them boys know that we ain't did shit. We just beat CSU. And then little motherfucker was throwing us under the bus last goddamn week. We getting a paycheck. <laughs> Go Pratt gave us a, he gave us a pep talk, right? <laughs> ain't none of them boys behind should do it like should do it. Except for the two, the two with the eyes on him. James uh, Seaton, Seaton, like man, this is some bullshit, man. You can say with his arms crossed, right? The two with the look, look at their hands. The, 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 look at the two yes men. The two yes men with their eyes on the door. Look at their hands. They their hands is at uh, like what we call rest, right? Like, like in the military, it's called rest, right? They rest and they confident in their leader. Okay, that's why their hands like that. Guard George Seaton is guarded, okay? The number one next to the white boy. The white boy, he don't want to be there because he don't like them niggas anyway, right? They don't even eat with him in the cafeteria, right? They want him to eat greasy like that. I don't eat no goddamn grits. I want oatmeal. <laughs> and then the one next to the little white boy, with his eyes down, he like, shit, man, I'm, I'm just going along to get along, man. You know what I mean? And then number 54, like, yeah, I'm here for the shit. Okay, I can go. I can roll anyway. Number, number 54, 54, hold your ass out. That's the one you don't want to mess with right there, number 54. He don't give a shit, okay? He just went to the program to get paid, all right? Travis, Travis like, shit, man, let's go to the next game, man. I won't be doing this bullshit. We only beat CSU. We got more, we got work to do. We got more work to do before we get up here and we, <laughs> On day, the on day we won today was the Colorado State Fair <laughs> Super Bowl game. That's all we won. No, 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 no. I'm sorry. On day we won today was the Colorado State Fair Blue Ribbon game. <laughs> yeah, look at the body language. The violent, they look, I'm serious, look just like them little hoes, <laughs> them little, little prostitutes when I was in that Korean whore, whore house in Houston, Texas, man. Like, oh, and they all look at them like, 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 them, like, them little, like them little prostitute whore, when I was in that whole house in Houston. They all hoping that I wouldn't choose them. Look at them. <laughs> They always hoping I didn't choose them, right? <laughs> and look, and that's how, that's how these little fellas look back there. They, they don't look like they happy. They don't look happy at all, okay? They don't look like they there for the shit. Jordan Seaton, next year he getting the fuck out of there, watch. He going, he going to a real program where he can develop. Number 54, he going to get his money. Now, Tyler Brown with the one or two hands crossing front of them, they are submissive. They follow orders. They going to be with Shadur, right? Well, I guess until the end of the year, I don't know what they're gonna do then. The no one is when it was head down. Shit, he I, I don't know, man. <laughs>
<laughs> the little white boy, man, this is some bullshit. <laughs> and Travis Hunt looking like, I'm glad I'm going after this year, man. This is some bullshit. This is a clown show. That's why Travis don't hang. Travis don't like Shadur. I'm telling you. Travis don't like Shadur. Travis don't like Shiloh, right? Travis just be with them motherfuckers, right? Because it's in the best interest right now. That's why Travis don't hang with them. You don't see Travis hang with him. Travis don't want to ride no goddamn fucking uh, Rubik's Cube truck. Travis like, man, fuck this shit, man. <laughs> Take me to my goddamn fucking Dodge Ram, motherfucker. My, <laughs> my 2022 Dodge Ram. He ain't even got a new Dodge Ram. Travis ain't into all that shit. <laughs> he don't want to be around. Travis, look, Travis don't want to be sitting there. Look at him. Look at the body language of these young fellas here. Oh, this is some bullshit. Let me tell y'all something. I'll tell y'all right now. This fucking team here is a fucking train wreck. Travis can't wait to the end of this goddamn season if his little ass don't get hurt from playing too goddamn much, okay? All right, Travis, you keep letting Coach Pride to buff your ass up so you so you make this little, so you can make, <laughs> make this little buckeye teeth little wife with veneer fella so you can try to get his stats up for him, right? <laughs> and look, J uh, uh, Horn, <laughs> Jimmy Horn, I know you caught that pass, you took that hit, you jumped up like, yeah, yeah, he said, I can't take a hit. Hey, little motherfucker, I bet you so today. <laughs> I bet your little ass need an ice man of the day, right? You may have took a hit, but let me tell you something. I done been in many fights, right? <laughs> a lot of my loss. <laughs> Maybe I won a few. <laughs> but after each fucking fight, I was sore. <laughs> now, I ain't never took a hit like you took, right? You jumped up, everything was fine. That's a drilling, right? But I bet your little ass ice bathing like a motherfucker today. <laughs> oh, look at the body language of these young men here. Oh, my God. This is a... I will tell you something. From the body language of this team, let me tell you something. It's only going to take... One more win against a quality team. No, one more loss against a quality team. When everybody turn on the only little motherfucker that's sitting up here laughing, you're going to see this offensive line. They don't have confidence in Shadur. They don't have confidence in him. The only one have confidence in him is the two with their hands in the front of them looking directly at them. Those are the two fucking yes men right there. Right there. It should do tell it should do tell them two motherfuckers to go knock down a wall instead of knocking down a wall with their with, with their fists knocking down. They'll try to run through the wall. Look dumb motherfuckers. <laughs> Look at them. You tell the body language of these young men. Like I said, I would fuck with number 54. Oh, I don't fuck with 54. <laughs> 54 on oh, your ass. I'm scared of 54 now. I think he's looking at me. Hey, y'all don't be looking at me, motherfucker. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him lying up. I would never let no goddamn coach line me up like I'm in a goddamn Bangkok whorehouse. <laughs> Behind some little buck teeth veneer wearing, wearing Rubik's Cube drive motherfucker who can't even. <laughs> I don't hell no. We ain't doing this. Y'all ain't showcasing me like, like I'm no whore. Now what they look like. I'm telling you, I seen this. When I was in Houston, Texas at that Korean whorehouse, that's how them little gals look, man. Look, huh? boy, I hate to say this though, boy. I was so mad at my kid folk out there. Cause look, <laughs> that little girl took me in the, in the in the back room, right? Man, that little girl, that little girl took her. <laughs> she took her panties off, boy. That thing was hanging like cottage cheese. <laughs> it looked like it looked like Mike Tyson had had been using her lips down there for a punching bag. I was like, hell no. <laughs> I said, just give me a massage. <laughs> we ain't doing this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, because she in that bad cock whole house, so she been used up. Look at these little fellas here. Look at these little fellas here. Yeah, they better get out of there next year. They better get out of there next year. Because the coaching staff still can't fucking coach. They just listen to the fucking YouTubers and get the, the goddamn, goddamn game playing. But I told my kid, I said, oh, we, I'll just give me a massage. I don't want no, I don't want no that cat. Them girls live with Hank. And they were little young girls. They could be no more than 20, 22 maybe at the time. You know, 21 or 22 at the time, right? I mean, they were legal, but I'm looking, I'm like, God dang, how much sex these little gals had? Oh, we ain't doing that. Oh, 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 we ain't doing Just give me a massage. I told my kid, oh, man, don't you ever take me no place like that again. God damn, no fucking <laughs> Bangkok whole house with the gals lined, with the gals lined up like these little fellas on Colorado. I ain't gonna lie, they dawned on me. I'm right, I'm right, listen to Najee, right? Top down 
a little black, drinking my coffee, you know, enjoying the can- tree canopies in our little country down here in Florida. You know, I'm cruising, and it dawned on me. I said, them little fellas look just like them gals that was in that Korean whole house when I was in Houston, Texas, right? They wasn't happy to be chose. <laughs> They wasn't happy. They came on. Look, hey, let me tell y'all something. Don't y'all ever let no coach do this. I ain't never seen this before. Have y'all ever seen this before? Y'all ever seen? uh, Because this is how you know this team caters to YouTube. This is how you know they listen to YouTube. Right? This is why they did this. The show that we all together. We all one. We all. Y'all ain't brothers, motherfucker. I can see the body language. Y'all ain't brothers. <laughs> Hell no. Only two y'all brothers. Them two with their head crossed in the back, right? Them the two yes men right there. Coach Pratt said, boy, go knock down that damn wall. They so stupid instead of using their using they fist and just knocking down the wall like they like they knocking on the door. They try to run through the goddamn wall. Oh, that's some bullshit here, boy. Oh, this team is some bullshit. That body language of the players don't look good. Man, don't y'all ever let nobody tell y'all to go line up with some shit like that. Y'all getting paid. I ain't never seen no offensive line line up behind no fucking quarterback to try to validate. Try to, <laughs> try to let, let me tell you something. Until Shador Sanders beat a team they ain't supposed to beat, y'all can't tell me shit. That little motherfucker ain't no first round quarterback. The best he can go is second round. He ain't beat no god doggone body. TCU wasn't a TCU as a pre- previous year, and they barely pulled up. It was a whole new revamp team. Who have they beat a substance that y'all nominated this little motherfucker? President of the Heisman Trophy Club. Huh? I'm going to tell you something. The Heisman Trophy winner, win or lose, is that little motherfucker right there, Travis Hunter. That's the Heisman Trophy winner, no matter what Colorado record is. If he stay healthy, that's the Heisman Trophy winner. And anything else is a fucking clown show, especially the one sitting, sitting next to Travis. Look at his teeth. He's the only one smiling. Oh, we did it. You didn't look like that last, the last week, motherfucker. You didn't look like that. huh? Let's see what you do going forward. No excuses now. Y'all got your offensive line. Y'all got a run game. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I could have ran through CSU on one of them public. You know, they, you know they, got them, they got them little motorized scooters with the basket in front of Publix. The more people get on. Yeah, I get out the way. I got to pull up my groceries. <laughs> one of them little electric scooters. I could have ran through fucking Colorado with CSU. <laughs> Offensive line, defensive line. Oh, my goddamn scooter. Get out the way, you fucking linebackers. Get out the way, you fucking tackle. I'm coming through this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Colorado Buffalo. Even when you motherfuckers win, y'all still a fucking y'all got to do something fucking stupid. Like do what you just you should have kept your fucking mouth shut, right? Don't y'all know people game plan for you? Don't y'all know that? And y'all don't have the coaching staff that can continue to evolve, that can change up what the fuck you do. Y'all, this is a losing fucking team y'all play. And y'all act like y'all won the Super Bowl. All that you won was the Colorado State Fair Blue Rhythm game. That's it. Until y'all beat a real team that y'all ain't supposed to beat and Shadua put up big yards, then I'll vote for Shadua. Other than that, pay Dijon his money.